The University of Leicester provides excellent PhD training and one of the things that characterizes the University of Leicester is a very friendly and inclusive culture. I chose the University of Leicester to do my PhD because of its really good reputation and um, especially because of my supervisor. Well, I think Leicester is, is a very nice place to do a, a PhD. I think it's a very active research community. PhD students always, they, they feel part of, of a community. I mean, they, they are never isolated. The great thing about the supervision is that uh, the faculty here treats us as, as a peer group. Supervisors will function like your supportive and professional friends, and uh, he should help you and support you. A PhD is a very personal um, thing to do and you need to find the right supervisor for you personally. Somebody you get on with, somebody you feel you can talk to and somebody you can take advice from. I needed to know that the person I will be working with is dedicated, that they know my subject and that they're really there to help me and that they will have time for me. Transferable skills are very important as part of the PhD training and the Student Support and Development Service here at the University of Leicester provides an excellent training package. I have passed like uh, career training courses that it will develop your skills for getting good careers in future after finishing your PhD. As compared to some of the universities that I've been to, Leicester is much more modern. There's a lot going on, there's a lot of people, you can, you know, do different things and it's really conveniently located. I will see my PhD students every day and sometimes like two or three times a day I will go to the lab and chat with them and, and see how they are doing. At the same time, I mean, they have freedom to try to develop their own ideas on their own projects. You know, academia is more of a place where real people come and where real people have relationships. Or, you know, so it's, it's not, it becomes less of a book, it becomes real life, I think.